Today we're gonna learn how to color correct skin in Photoshop, whether it's tanning, uneven skin tone, or even a color cast. We're gonna fix all of that today in Photoshop, so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and you my friend are most welcome here and by the way all the images that I show in the tutorial is available for download so make sure you download them so that we can follow along. So as you can see in this image this image has an ugly color cast green color cast so let's go ahead and zoom in have a look at her nose this green cast some of her hairs have also got it so how do we remove it very simple non-destructive way create a hue saturation adjustment layer click on this gray white circle icon click on this and select hue saturation. Now, this is big. If this is not big, you can make it big by stretching it, okay? It's necessary that you have it big. So, we need to remove the greens. So, all we will do, we will click here, choose greens from the drop-down menu, and there we go. Also, what you can do, you can even sample that. So, you can click on this and you can click on the greens and you can sample that. Now, of course, we're going to modify the selection. So, this doesn't really matter. Just for indication purposes, we are choosing it from the drop-down drop list. Okay. So, as you can see, the green area is selected here. So, take the hue slider all the way to the left or the right to identify which area is being affected. So, let's go ahead and zoom in. We want the greens to be removed from here. So, we will make the selection as narrow as possible. Take the slider from the left and take it to the right. Take the slider from the right and take it to the left. So let's understand this for a moment. I've already talked about this, but let's again understand this. The bar at the top is the target. The bar down is the result. So this is the bar, this is the target spectrum, and this is the result. So if we are affecting this area, this section of the color spectrum, and if we move the hue, have a look. Have a look at the result one. So if I move it, see, this is being affected. So this is the target, this is the result. So we are affecting the greens of the image. Now, this green is not exactly this green. So what do we need to do? We need to move it. So let's go ahead and move it. Look, now it's beginning to get affected. Now don't worry, this is not gonna get blue. This is just for indication purposes. We have taken the slider all the way to the left. So as soon as you see that the this green is exactly selected just stop there okay just stop there and just modify the sliders to make sure that most of it is just selected okay is just selected not more than that not anything more than that not anything less than that just that is selected now use the out slide si sliders to make the selection smoother okay there we go now this is a good selection now bring the slider all the way to the middle hue slider and take it to the left or right and see which one's matching with the original skin tone. This is making it more worse. If you take it to the left, watch. It's gone. Isn't that interesting? Have a look. The before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. All of it is gone. Have a look. It's so natural now. So this is the before, this is the after. So that's how you remove contamination. All you have to do, add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Then select the color, adjust the hue, and it's gone. Though I would like to add, the key here is to have a great selection. If you move to the greens, okay, yellows too, it has actually named it yellows too instead of greens. So it has renamed that. So we're going to live with that. So yellows too, as you can see. You have to have a nice selection here. If you had a selection here and there, it would have messed up. See, it's not yielding a nice result. So make sure you have a nice selection. So that's the secret. To this method. Now let's talk about uneven skin tones. As you can see in this beautiful image of an old lady, it's all good. Her face is all good. But if you zoom in, have a look at her hand. Her hand is a little grayish. It's not replicating the redness of the face. So how do we replicate this skin tone in her hands? Simple. All you have to do, add a solid color adjustment layer. Okay. Add a solid color adjustment layer. Click on this gray white circle icon again and choose solid color. Now don't worry about the color right now. Click OK. Turn off this layer, double click on it again, and choose pick a color from here, okay? Click OK. Now, turn it on and invert the mask. Select the mask, press Ctrl Command I, okay? Change the blend mode of this one to color. Take a brush, make sure foreground color is white. If it's not, 
press D to reset the swatches. If it's something else, like for example, if it was red or something like that, press D, it will reset the swatches and make sure the foreground color is white. Now, zoom in to the hand, make sure the flow is somewhere around 20-ish and start painting here. Slowly, there you go. You have the skin tone back. Now this is too red. What you might want to do, you might want to decrease the passage just a hair. Maybe something like that. And you want to go back and paint it a little bit better. Have a look. So this is the before. This is the after. Gray hand, red hands. Not exactly red, but beautiful red hands. Now here's what's great about this technique. If you think the color that you picked is a wrong one, the advantage of creating a solid color adjustment layer is this. You can double click on it and you can click in different areas to see which one goes with the hand. For example, you can zoom in and you can even pick different areas to see which one is going with the hand. There you go. So this one is suiting the best. Click OK. So you already have the mask, you already have painted the hand and then you can also double click on this and choose the color that you want. Isn't that very interesting? Okay, now one of the other ways of dealing with uneven skin tones is using the hue saturation again. Okay, as you can see in this one, her skin tone is really, really good, really, really awesome. But as we move down, there's a yellowish tint on her neck, there's a yellowish tint on her hand, and there's a little bit of yellow here and there. So how do we get rid of it? Simple, create a hue saturation again. And this time what you can do, you can pick the color. So you can zoom in and you can take this and you can pick the color. Okay, it automatically determines that this is a yellow color. Now all you have to do, simple, take this ladder all the way to the, to the left or right, just for indication purposes, and make this one as narrow as possible. Okay, let's zoom in for a better understanding. And let's make this one as narrow as possible, just like this, and move this left and right where the exact area is selected, stop there. Okay, as you can see, the exact area is being selected here. So we are going to modify this, take it a little bit to the left, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, take it a little bit to the right until we have a good selection. Now let's make it smooth. Now what are these outside sliders? Think of it like fuzziness. When you go to select color range, there's something like fuzziness. Also when you apply blend if and you press alter option and click on that, the slider breaks into two parts. What does that do? It makes the transition between the area that is selected and the area that is not selected smooth. It's just like feathering. Okay, so there we go. It's good. Now, zoom out, bring the hue to zero and take it to the right or left to see which one's matching. Right is not helping. Left, as you can see, this is going away. This is becoming red. As you can see, the yellow is gone now. You can also tweak the lightness there we go, Make, bring it a little bit to the left, there we go, have a look, close it down, before, after, the yellow is gone, have a look, closer look, so before, the yellow thing there, the green thing there, click it again, it's gone. Now let's talk about tanning, as you can see in this example, her face is bright, but look at her hands, it's dark right? So we need to match that. We need to bring that to a certain level where both of them goes well with each other. So simple. Here too, we will use the hue saturation and sometimes you can also use the curves. Okay. Why hue saturation? Because it does a better selection and curves, you have to manually make a selection. Now that's the hard part, right? But sometimes hue saturation, when hue saturation doesn't work, you got to use the curves. All right, let's try the hue saturation, hue saturation, click on this icon, and click here on her arms, okay? Click here on her arms once. Now have a good selection, make it as narrow as possible and take it up to see most of her arms are selected. So let's go ahead and zoom her in. There we go. Make sure we select the arms. Now let's go ahead and take this all the way to the left and let's move it to see when most of her is selected. Okay, now we'll take it a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, there we go. And most of her arm is now selected. Pretty nice selection, pretty good selection. Okay, great. Now, but along with the arms, her face is also selected. But that's not a problem because her arms are separate from her face, right? We can easily mask that out. So double click on this now and 
bring the hue to zero. But it's not helping. Why? Because we are in the master. We need to change that to, let's say greens. Was it in the greens? Was it in the reds? Yes, it was in the red. So you need to find out. Now bring the hues to zero. And then let's try increasing the lightness. So let's move it a little up. There we go. And let's, let's keep it here. It's easier for you to look at. Now let's increase the lightness. This is all good. Let's increase the saturation just a little bit. Now this is natural, but it's affecting her face. We cannot even match it. So click on the mask, take a brush and paint on her face with black. Okay. Increase the flow to 100, right? We don't want to affect the face or any other part. So you can paint in with black to the parts that you don't want to affect, or you can paint in white over the hands very roughly. What you can do, Control a command I, this makes the mask black. Then you can take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white and roughly paint over the hands. It's much easier to do. Okay. There we go. Now double click on the properties and increase the, go to the reds. Light is already increased. Then you can increase the saturation. There we go. Now this is looking natural before, after, before, after. Now when this doesn't work, what you can do, let me turn that off. You can add a curse adjustment layer. And similar way, increase it, okay? And you might want to add a hue saturation layer to decrease the saturation because when you increase the curves, it just kind of affects the saturation of the photo. Also what you can do, you can change the blend mode to luminosity that doesn't affect the saturation. Then control a command I and you can take the brush and paint over her skin like just like that. Okay, that's kind of tedious job to do, but when hue saturation doesn't work, Curves is your way to go. Just a thing before we wrap up, I just noticed this. If you zoom in, have a look. Have a look here. It's kind of strange here. So we need to have a better selection. So double click on it. So this is there. Make sure you go to reds again and let's select even more. Now this is completely selected. Now we can smooth it up better, right? So better selection is the key. So that's how you color correct skin tones in Photoshop. Just remember, we have just two basic techniques. Number one, the heave saturation adjustment layer. And number two, the solid color adjustment layer and painting in and the blend mode. What was the blend mode? Color. Okay. Blend mode color, solid color adjustment layer and the hue saturation adjustment layer. Just remember this and you're all set. And when none of that works, you have the good old curve. So I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, ring the bell so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one till then. Stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. You caught my eye.